What's going on guys? Antonio here. Do me a favor, hit that thumbs up for me and let's get into it. All right. So over the weekend, 50 Cent was uh, doing another show in Toronto. He what was it uh, about a month and a half, two months ago. He was brought in to do the opening game for the kickoff for the kickoff game for uh, the CFL and there must have been like 80,000 people there at least. It was it looked like it was a big big show when he was in there. I think they were in Calgary. But he was in Toronto over the weekend and uh pulled up on one Drizzy Drake and uh he said this uh let's see. Let me actually pull it. Okay. Brainstorming last night. Me and Drake going to get the film rolling. Biggest ting on your TV green light gang. And then, of course, tags his uh, website, gunitbrands.com. Now, some people, I've seen this picture went viral. Everybody was posting it like Shade Room, Hollywood Unlocked, all the big blogs were taking it because they were like, does that mean? Because there's video of them together. I saw uh, there's another Toronto artist, uh, Pressa, that that is really, really uh, tapped in with Drake. He was there. There was a lot of, a lot of uh, what's uh the um the guy that Kendrick Lamar mentioned, uh, mentioned on uh, on one of the diss tracks, uh, I think it was on Not Like Us, where he said uh, Baca's got a weird case. Why is he around? Because I saw Baca. Baca not nice. He was there at this same uh, this same little uh, small show with uh, Fifty Cent, but it it looked like uh, uh, Drake and Fifty were chopping it up. And I would be very interested to see if, if they're going to actually get some TV shows or a movie or something done. That would be very interesting because uh, uh, Tyler Perry recently came out and said that he is open to working with 50. And 50 said that him and Tyler, um, fit, uh, Tyler actually invited 50 to Atlanta and and they took a photo together He because people were trying to say, oh, uh, uh, 50's jealous of Tyler Perry and all, of, and 50's like, no. Nah. He's like, I respect what Tyler Perry has built, and I want, you know, I, I want to learn from him. I, he's he made a billion dollars doing this. I want to learn how he did it, and and maybe I can build on that. So, uh, Tyler was like, hey man, come come to Tyler Perry Studios in Atlanta. So obviously, 50 Cent did do that, and. Uh, Tyler Perry was just on TMZ the other day. He was giving he was giving fifty his flowers. So the thing everybody forgets about Drake is he came from the acting. Remember he was on Degrassi. He was an actor in Canada, and then he started doing hip hop. And then as he became more famous and got his got his money up, he started doing television shows. He is the executive producer on. Uh, Zendaya's hit television show that airs on HBO Euphoria. She's won two Emmys for that, uh, and well deserved, by the way. If you watch Zendaya on Euphoria, obviously Kent Kendrick named one of his diss tracks to uh, Drake Euphoria, and it was specifically because of the Emmy winning Euphoria that airs on HBO. But Drake is also the executive producer on Top Boy, which what they just aired the final season last year it was or whatever. Um, Drake Drake's uh, production company produced uh, season well the first two seasons of Top Boy. Uh, you know the show got canceled and then Drake's production team stepped in and they they uh, paid everybody and they brought the show back for seasons three, four, and five, which I thought all three of those seasons were fantastic and you know they're all on Netflix. If you haven't seen Top Boy, go watch it. So it would be like I said, I would love to see uh, Fifty Cent and Drake collaborate. If you know, because I hadn't heard 50 outside of doing the the theme songs for all his TV shows, he hadn't put out any music. I mean, you know, like I said, he's any of the power shows that you watch, he he raps the theme songs, all of them. He also raps the theme song on BMF, which I, you know, they're shooting BMF right now, they're shooting uh, Power Book 4 Force, but yeah, 50. 50 knows how to get these TV shows greenlit and these movies. He's got some movie on uh, Amazon Prime right now with Mel Gibson. He's playing a police officer in that, but it's if you actually go on the Amazon rankings right now, the movie he's got with Mel Gibson is uh, number one on the platform. So I, I haven't watched it yet, but I'm going to, just because it's 50, I rock with 50. I watch anything he does, 
And uh, but I would love to see this. I would love to see Drake and 50 collaborate on something. Maybe they'll put a little TV show or something together and they'll both, you know, like say, 50 likes to to do the, the theme songs and stuff. Maybe him and Drake will do because I don't think I've ever heard Drake and 50. Uh, Drake worked on uh, 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 a song with Eminem. What was it? Um, uh, Forever. That song forever from the that LeBron James movie where, you know, they were showing LeBron James in uh, high school with all these boys and stuff. But that that song forever it was what Eminem and Kanye West and uh, we said last name ever, first name greatest, you know, that that whole deal. So. Um, but uh, yeah, I would love to see that. I would love to see 50 and, and uh, Drake link up for something. But uh, like I said, I saw some people were like, oh, he picked a side against Kendrick. Uh, 50 ain't got no problem with Kendrick. That ain't that has nothing to do with Kendrick. Kendrick was on power. If everybody remembers, if, if you watch power, what was it? The fourth season? I think it was Kendrick Lamar had a guest appearance on there. And that was that was actually one of the best episodes of that season when Kendrick because all his scenes were with uh, 50 cents character Kane. And they 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 really are locked in. And obviously Kendrick is completely locked in with Dr. Dre and, and uh, Eminem and anybody paying attention to, to uh, 50 cent knows how much Eminem, you know, was it uh they always quote that line back at uh 50 cent where he told Eminem, you know, you're my favorite white boy, right? Cause he said, he said, he said Eminem changed, changed his life. He would never disrespect Eminem. So he's not, I think his connection with Drake is because Drake is now against Rick Ross. 50 cannot stand Rick Ross. And uh, <laughs> they've been beefing for 15 years. So the that's one of the reasons you never saw 50 embrace Drake before. But then now that Rick Ross is dissing him, he's like, oh, you don't like Rick Ross anymore either. I don't like him. Hey, maybe we can link up. So that's what I think. That's about Rick Ross. That has nothing to do with, with uh, Kendrick Lamar. That's about going at Rick Ross. But like I said, some people I saw uh, different uh, on the different people that posted it. They were upset that, you know, 50 It was like, oh, Drake's trying to get his street cred back. He's linking up with 50. Don't do that, 50. He's almost out of here. Don't try to help him. You know, all this kind of thing. So like I said, everybody will have a different opinion on the situation. I like this. This is a good look, especially if we get some good music or some good television shows out of it. I'm all for it. Like I said, Top, Top Boy was dope. Uh, Euphoria is dope. I know Euphoria. Matter of fact, Euphoria is going back into production on its third season in January of 2025. So uh, Zendaya is about to dust them boots off and get back into it. So I'm looking forward. She'll probably win another Emmy because she's fantastic on that show. But uh, like I said, do you think this is a bad look or a good look for 50? I want to hear from you. We're on the road to 3000. I need you. I want you. Give me a follow. Facebook, Instagram. I'm on X. I'm on threads. All at Akari Press. Type in AkariPress.com. It will take you to my comic book brand way of the gun i've got the link to that and my gum road in the description thank you guys so much for watching i'm out